Hello everyone. Today I will be magnetizing this Necron vehicle so it can switch between a Ghost Arc and a Doomsday Arc. As a little disclaimer, this is by no means the best way to magnetize this model, nor the only way. This video shows my first time magnetizing a Ghost Arc, and it's just my take on how to go about it. Make sure you know what polarity the magnets you want and where, and test fit this frequently. It's very important. I'm going to be using several different sizes of neodymium rare earth magnets, green stuff, and super glue. I have already put together the main sections of the model. The cockpit, the rib cage, the doomsday cannon, the end piece, and the warriors. There are two wire pieces that connect the cannon to the rib cage that I won't be using. It'll just be too difficult to keep the magnetization in mind for these as well. I start preparing the cockpit for magnets by shaving the connection pegs and test fitting the magnets until they fit. These ones are the quarter inch by eight inch magnets. Although the numbers sound small, these magnets are one of the biggest and most powerful you'll ever need in miniatures building. They are powerful enough to hold tanks and monstrous creatures together. These will actually be holding up the whole cockpit, so they will have to be quite powerful. I glue a quarter inch by one eighth inch magnet into the cannon as well. It's important to keep test fitting the magnetized pieces throughout the process to make sure you have the right polarity on your pieces and see if they're strong enough to actually hold up what you want. For the orb holder piece, the quarter inch by one eighth inch magnet is unnecessarily strong. Instead I use a 3 16th and a 132 inch magnet and a 1 8 by 1 8 magnet glued on top of each other inside the piece to get the correct height and strength. Now I'll work on the warriors. I cut off the part that is glued on onto the ribcage in such a way that will serve as a platform to put on the magnet. I glue a 3 16 inch by 132 inch magnet to the connection piece, replacing the spot where the warrior used to be. Then I glue that onto the ribcage. As for the warriors, I clean off the cut to be made as flat as possible. It will be easier to glue and place the magnet on them. I glue on a 1 8 by 1 8 magnet. Now I move on to magnetizing the connection for the rib cage. I start off by putting green stuff into the tube, since it's hollow. Then I glue in a quarter inch by one eighth inch magnet while it's still moldable and squish it in very gently. I use liquid green stuff just to see how it works and to help secure the magnet into the putty. Cut off the pegs on the opposite side to help signify which direction the ribcage should be connected. I put in the magnet a little bit too far back, so I glued in a second one on top of that. On the other end, I also put in some green stuff in the tube. I used the orb piece to put in a quarter inch by one eighth inch magnet. For the serpentine end piece, I shave open the hole bigger and glue in two 3 16th by 1 16th inch magnets.
after a final test fit with different combinations, it's finally done. Thanks for watching. Again, this method is by no means the best way nor the only way to magnetize a ghost arc. Stay tuned for more.